Think that you're gonna do 12 volt once in your vehicle or anything that you're towing, you are absolutely kidding yourself. What's up guys, welcome to another edition of Loading Up, uh, our Red Arc series of the new Red Arc products. Um, I want to talk about, I think, what is, I think I said it in the last video, the coolest thing that Red Arc's come out with. So maybe this is another cool thing that Red Arc's come out with. TVMS Rogue, it's been around for a little bit now. We're actually running these in all of the Gen 2 Patriot Campers range and there's a couple of really good reasons. Um, I do keep talking about, but it is realistic, when it comes to DIY and installations yourself, one thing that I can tell you definitively that I'm not capable of doing is wiring up switches. Um, and uh, I mean multiple switches of LED, say for example. The old way of doing it is you'd buy a switch panel, then you'd buy a block of fuses, then you'd buy a block of relays, then you'd buy 3,000 metres of cable, you'd spend 100 hours in drilling holes and running cable through and terminating spades and then plugging all things together. Then you go and flick a switch, things will start tripping out. Eventually something will catch on fire and you've wasted all your time and all of your money. That doesn't happen with this product right here. And this is something that I've actually wired a couple of these in uh, with the boys. It is so simple as far as switching goes. Uh, a couple of things that, that uh, probably really to note before I go into it and open the box, and you'll see I'm standing in front of the, the comp uh, competition giveaway for this year. The competition giveaway doesn't actually have a Rogue in it. This has the old TVMS, and I'm going to explain a couple of those differences, and that's why I'm here, but it does couple up uh, to the Red Vision. So the ability to switch from the Red Vision, but then also having the ability to add on to the system as well. So if you do want to put in a Manager 30, or well, you do want to install one of the new alphas in a 50 or a 75 or a 100 amp charger, the whole system integrates, everything goes together. So you start looking at building your 12 volt system, considering that you will expand it. It's just what's gonna happen. If you think that you're gonna do 12 volt once in your vehicle or anything that you're towing, you are absolutely kidding yourself. Ask anybody who's done it once, I guarantee they've, they've probably rewired three or four times. And that's where these things really come into play. When you look at cost, uh, and I won't quote the specifics because I, I know we're talking to the US market, but if you weigh up the cost of something like this versus the hours that you're gonna spend doing it the traditional way, time is money as they say, right, I guarantee that this thing uh, will come out cheaper and also give you that ability to expand uh, into the future. So let's get the box opened up. So the TVMS Rogue, the great thing about the Rogue is the actual physical size of it. I'll just grab it out of the box here. You can see here how tiny it is. It is super lightweight. It's only like, I'm gonna say like an inch thick, like 25 millimeters thick, very, very lightweight, and very, very, very simple to wire. You can see here that you've got your inputs here. You still have the ability, if you run from the RJ45 cable, I think it's an RJ45, let's call it an ethernet cable. Check what I've said that it's accurate, yeah? I think it's, yeah, just a relay, I don't know, I'm not electrical. Um, if you run from the cable, you have one cable going directly to the Red Vision screen. So you mount this absolutely anywhere that you like in what you're building. You run all of your inputs into here. Inside this box here, um, you have solid state switching, fuses, so solid state, fuses and relays. There's nothing in here to replace. When you go over current, obviously the system will just trip out and turn off. Now it's got 10, 10 amp switches as standard, but you can daisy chain all of these together. So again, getting back to that expandability, if you find you start with 10 switches as only your requirements, but then you need more, you buy another one of these units and you couple it together. Every single one of these switches in here is actually dimmable through the Red Vision as well. So when you go on to, well actually we haven't programmed this one in, but what you can do, if you see here for example, if I've got an input connected from this to the Red Vision screen, that's my LEDs for this side, but you can program all of these switches as dimmable. So if you just hold the button down, you can dim all of the lighting down. Um, that's a really good advantage. One of the things that I, I have actually been asked quite a few times is, well, what happens if I wanna run a fridge or an air compressor? If I need something that's 30 or 40 or 50 amps, well, then it's simple. You just run a relay in between. 
So you run a 50 amp uh, relay and then straight into the switch and you can still switch everything uh, on and off as you see fit. So very, very, very simple to install, expandable bit of gear. Uh, once again, I'll talk about uh, the quality of Red Arc, the testing facilities that Red Arc have at Red Arc HQ down in Adelaide. It's, it's absolutely world-class. Vibration testing, obviously temperature testing and all the other tests that they do. This product here, uh, worthwhile noting as well, this product's not IP rated. It's no good chucking one of these in your engine bay. Um, you might get dust ingress or have one of those problems. It is a, a pretty uh, technological um, piece of gear. Obviously with the Red Vision, the ability to mount that in the cab is one of the great things about having one cable that runs directly from the Rogue uh, to the Red Vision. I'm running now, uh, say for example, in my Gladiator, I'm running dual screens, yeah? I'll have one in the back and one in the front, so I can control from there. Ashen's running one internally uh, with the FJ. So once again, you can run this as a standalone switching system, or you can couple this to one of the manager systems to control all your inputs and charge. Uh, another thing I haven't spoken about, as well as obviously having your hard fixing of your screen, you do have the Red Vision app as well, which is, look, uh, I've said, I think I've said it before at the start, I thought it was a bit gimmicky, but I can't live without it at the moment, especially when you're in a camper trailer or you're working around the other side of the truck, you don't have access to the screen, hands covered with oil or whatever, you pull your iPhone out, turn lights, turn all your inputs on and off, um, really good bit of gear. So definitely check that out. If you're building a touring vehicle, an overlanding vehicle, or anything towable that requires some sort of switching, um, you can't go past the, uh, the Red Arc TBMS Rogue. That's about it for this video. Friday afternoon, I'm gonna finish loading up, and I'm out of here.